Okay. This is Cagney. He's my poodle. He's about 14. I think he's going to be 15 on St. Patrick's Day. But anyway, he's blind now. So, don't usually... I should probably get on the other side. I'm shadowing him. He's blind, so I don't take him out anymore. I mean, I take him out to the backyard. I let him stay until, you know, do whatever until he's barking. But I thought, you know what? Let me try. Because we're in the country, so most of the time he was off the leash. I only did the leash and stuff as taking him out, like out at hiking on a trail or something like that or, or walk in the park. But at home, we usually just walked. I was like, you know, maybe I should try being his seeing eye person. Now, Murphy probably could have been his seeing eye dog, but ah, when Murphy came, he didn't want to be bothered with her. She, he was just, leave me alone whenever she tried to play. So, anyway, this seems like pretty nice. And I mean, he has a lot going for him. He's, I mean, he's blind, but I mean, when I say a lot going for him, he's got everything going for him. I love him. Meaning he's got energy and all that stuff. He just can't see. And it's, I know, it's causing him a lot of trouble. But this way I could take him out. He can have a special time with Mama. Because when I just hold him, you know, let him out in the backyard, he walks around for a little bit and then starts barking to be brought in. Because, you know, he doesn't know where he is. He only been here for like 12 years so um, almost his whole life but you know he has no memory of anything like he bumps into a chair the chair that's been there for probably 10 years he doesn't know he doesn't remember anything he was always like a fun dog like very goofy and I don't know a little comic you know it was always fun with everyone but then he would I could say he could be passive aggressive with some of the pets we had. We moved here from Florida and he's the only dog left that we came here with in Florida. And I have one cat that I came here with with him in Florida. So come on. Let's go. Hey. We're gonna walk down the street. You've walked many times. But now I just have to have you on a leash doing it. So, you know, mommy's here and you don't get nervous. But anyway, I feel this is very successful. And I just thought I'd uh, videotape the first time doing it. And, you know, maybe this could be helpful for anyone with a dog who went blind later in life. They weren't always blind. So it is hard for them to adjust. But... Believe me, this is a bigger deal than what I get in the backyard. In no time, he just starts barking and barking and just wants to go in. And then he walks all over the room, not, just walks into the water dish, water everywhere. <laughs> just like, I'm usually okay with it, but like when I'm running out the door in the morning to go to work, it's like, really? Right now? Right now? But, you know, isn't that how life is? So, anyway, now we're going to go down the hill probably like that. This is a little easier probably now that we're on the paved. But anyway, just wanted to share. Bye-bye.